everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers viewers and the world out there today we're doing a collective full moon energy reading for the month of july in this message we're going to look into what the collective needs to release now this full moon is in the sign of capricorn it is the closest to the planet earth it is the most intense moon full moon throughout this year okay throughout the year um but what most of us will be faced with is some hard truths um emotional challenges spiritual challenges that we've been suppressing or not trying to face may be brought up through this full moon so just preparing for that being ready um, keeping yourself grounded is going to be important now we're going to dive in here and see what needs to be released, what is no longer serving. We'll look at how to release this energy and what will be the outcome of this. Something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's see what we can see for the upcoming energy for the collective here. Most important message here for my tarot friends, Spirit. What do they need to see in regards to this full moon energy? What needs to be released? Please and thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So there's a situation here being presented, a connection, okay, um, that may have been a little bit rocky up to this point, may have been a little bit unstable, uncertain, but there was always this connection that was felt. You and this person always came back together, always came back around, and it was really easy to fall right back in into the way that it was okay however there was still some things that were burdening this connection um, maybe this was past relationship coming back in um, but for a lot of you the disruptions the complications caused some distance okay some murky waters and we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute what needs to be released is holding on to this connection too tightly okay and what do I mean by that exactly how I see this playing out is one of you either you or this person were trying to force the outcome trying to force how this was going to be how this was going to play out how things came together for you and this person and it caused a lot of resistance here in this connection okay now how to release this and i talked about this in another reading might have even been um sagittarius but there's a need here to choose the other person okay or maybe both of you need to choose each other okay but i feel here how you guys are going to move through this change in this relationship is by choosing one another um, by saying this is my person you know this is this is who I want to be with and no matter what challenges they face or what lessons they're going to have to learn this is going to be my person now I do feel like there is an opportunity for this connection to come together for this to be healed we have the four of swords with the king and queen of cups okay the lovers present so there's definitely an intense connection that's coming out here. Um, but again, you guys are going to have to choose the connection and understanding that there are going to be times where it's going to be beautiful and there are going to be times where there are going to be challenges. 
right? So let's clarify now. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here by, by clarifying the Ten of Wands, the Lovers, with the Justice Energy for the Collective. What do my tarot friends need to see in regards to the Ten of Wands, the Lovers, and the Justice? Either you, your person, or both of you are kind of stressed out about the future, the longevity of this connection. Is this going to work? Are we going to be able to make this work? Is this going to come together? Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. I feel like there is going to be an opportunity for things to balance out, uh, making a plan. But again, choosing one another is going to be the most important factor. Choosing one another, choosing the connection, that's what's coming out heavily in this reading. So let's clarify the outcome. Four of Swords, King of Cups, the Queen of Cups. Again, there's this intense connection that's felt between the two of you. And I feel here you both want the same outcome. There's a mirroring energy coming out. Um, here we have it. Okay, The past is holding you back. Whatever you and this person had went through in the, pa the past, and I do believe it's with one another, because I feel like this is a reconciliation, to be honest with you, a reconciliation from the past, but you guys are going to have to really discuss why you, why this person walked away and make a plan on how you're going to move forward and not have this happen again. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. No extended version to these readings, guys. be easy advice moving forward okay the star is in the reverse so there's a need to be honest with yourself with each other about where you stand with one another about the process that you guys need in order to move forward what you need to close out what you need to come to terms with okay I do feel like there is in this present energy a need to withhold to hold back until you guys both can come forward can be honest with one another don't just rush in um and even though it's going to be difficult and you're going to want to rush back in and it just be the same way that it was before if you want things to be different you have to try a different approach as crazy as that sounds try a different approach be honest with yourself be honest with your person um about what it is that you need in order to move forward because I feel like the, there is an energy of you both kind of being nervous or afraid of history repeating itself. With that being said, we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So there is a need to kind of let this fearful energy go, kind of get out of your head and get into your heart space when it comes to this person. I do feel there is this energy of holding back, okay, of um, withholding your emotions. And that's not what I mean by any means. You need to tell this person how you feel, especially if you're afraid of history repeating itself. Um, but withhold the benefits you're giving this person don't just rush back into a relationship is what I mean, okay? Keep things on a friendly level until you guys both can come to terms with whatever had transpired in the past. There's a need for closure here. So, Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Leo, this is a collective reading, guys, so you could be dealing with a Leo. The astrological signs that we do have present, we have Gemini, we have Libra. Cancer. We have 
Water energy, Aquarius is present. Doesn't have to be one of those signs, but if it is, it's definitely confirmation. So thank you guys again for all the love and the support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.